Guess who? Wow, you guys learned fast. Okay, what's up, guys? Now, I I never really wanted to attack Disney, but it looked like it came down to it. I never wanted to make this video. I have respect for Disney. I mean, I plan soon. I plan on going to Disneyland. So I'm like, I don't want to like do this to Disney like right before I'm getting ready to go there. Like they might not even allow me in the park. I find out a plus and a celebration on Disney's behalf. <laughs> so it's just I. I'm sorry, Disney. Okay, I like all your other movies. But Wreck-It Ralph, y'all need to, you guys need to sell that to Nickelodeon or Cartoon Networks. Or Whoa. Loving Disney, but botching it at the same time to use it as an insult on a YouTuber. I hope Tinkerbell flies down and very does your ass out of the property. Or something, you know, Cartoon Networks, because I feel like Nickelodeon is still too high. Cartoon Networks, they don't really have like too many good cartoons on there. So I'm, I'm just saying, like Wreck It Ralph, like I, I think, I think he should head over the Cartoon Network. He's, he's bringing you guys a lot of negative attention right now. Like I don't want to go to Disneyland with bad vibes. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I like Disney. I love Disneyland. We don't need a black golem, thank you. Lord of the Rings does enough. And so I'm just like, come on, man. Like, you guys, how come it couldn't have been somebody else? You know, like, how come it couldn't have been like a villain in one of your guy from one of your guys' movies? Like, y'all had to send Wreck It Ralph after me. Because he's talking right now, slandering Disney by using them as an insult on another YouTuber. There's your next Disney villain, folks. But, anyways, yeah, Wreck It Ralph, he's going by the name on YouTube, Mainstream Media commentary but all his uh latest videos are about me and I, I i think we can all have a mutual agreement here from haters to fans and even myself i'm not mainstream so. but you are commentary stream good enough <laughs> like i i just don't understand like the his last video he made uh yesterday or a day ago i believe in slender man nope Wrong. Before, it was you screwing up on your tweet involving the suicidal girl. It was four days ago on the Slender topic. Try to get your facts correct. Like, I'm kind of curious on what that video is about because I I just don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think back. I think the last time I did talk about Slender Man, well, actually, no, it was the movie the trailer and stuff but um if it's about that then i'm like bro how did you pick up from that video that i believed in slender man and they're showing a preview of the slender man right now do you think he would care no as a matter of fact i know he wouldn't care because spoiler alert slender man isn't real go out to the woods try to find slender man no and ask him i i should do that i should do that i live around woods and stuff slender man might be out there somewhere i would ask him do you care if I block people on social media? Like, I'm kind of curious about that video. I might have to watch that on a lunch break or something, if I remember. But then I remember I played the video game and made a video on that. And I thought that was a pretty funny video. That game scared the crap out of me. And so, <laughs> it's, uh, that, I think that's the only two times I talked about Slenderman. But he has a, an 11 minute video about how I believe in Slenderman. Huh. Alrighty then. I like the thumbnail. It's like it. I guess it's it's yeah. It's me. I look like a thumb, like or Mr. Potato Head. Like that's some bad Photoshop, my dude. Like you got all these other videos that's that apparently it's about me. Like you had some other thumbnails and it's okay and it's decent and stuff. And then you gets to that one and it's like, bruh, you should contact a professional on that. I'm. So yeah, but he actually puts creativity in it more than you or I do. I do plan on finding ways to get my thumbnails more creative and better. Yours, you may need to see a professional, Moss Boss. Saying, but I guess he's he's uh, comparing me to the the um, Jimmy Neutron's best friend, Sheen or Carl. Because in my case, you're pretty much a mixture of both. You're on focus, whiny, and don't want to listen to anyone but yourself. I mean, as uh, he he was a pretty entertaining character on that show. I liked him. I would say out of all them characters, I did like him. So, 
But uh, yeah, it's like, all right, so I believe in Slender Man, then I have a clone, then he says I'm not a character. You you kind of are a character. I mean, look, 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 look at the resemblance. I mean, you guys, you guys can see the resemblance in them photos and stuff. Oh my God, I can. And he's, he's handsome. Oh my God, I should be upset that he's so good looking. You can't convince me otherwise. Like, I don't, I don't know. You don't see too many big white guys that don't look like Wreck-It Ralph. Like, don't see many black dudes being pieces of shit. Well, you're one of them now. From the hairstyle to the face, like I'm saying, like, you, you, um, you kind of look like him, my dude. But anyways, uh, yeah, then he says, I'm not creative. I can't even make skits. I'm a bully. I've been exposed by him twice. Uh, what else? I don't understand criticism. I don't understand much of anything. Like, uh, not seeing any proofs, such as whatever you're looking at, would be so much simpler if you, I don't know, show it for viewers. Like, it's just like a lot of knockoff, uh, just a robot videos. Like, it's just like, it's like that ad before that video, and then it gets into Just a Robot. That's pretty much what his videos are. Your videos are like YouTube ads. Annoying, and people want to skip them as soon as possible. The videos are short. Like, the first video that he made about me was 18 seconds long. The other video was three minutes. The other was two. The other, th there's one where it's just, it's seriously four seconds long. The video is four seconds long. Four seconds. That's all you need. Even like his most viewed videos, they're, they're all about me. All about me. Because you make it that easy for us to enjoy finding flaws and popping them. And then uh, and, uh, it's like, yeah, then people, they say like, oh, robot made me and all this crap. And it's like, I, I don't think so. You can check my most viewed videos. Not one of them has anything to do with him. But... Then, then I went to his Twitter account, and his Twitter account, because this dude's been, he's been on my case for some time now. I don't remember when he uh, came across my channel, but he came across my channel at some point in time during this two-year-long beef with me and Robot. Yeah, a lot of people came in between you and just a Robot. He's not the only one. But, uh, yeah, even his, uh, like... His photos, everything, his tweets, they're all about me. And it's just, I don't understand, like, why does all your videos have to be about me? Look back at your own videos and maybe you'll see why. Oh, then he made a tweet. He made a tweet saying, I really hate how he retweets stuff about mental illness when I know for a fact that he really doesn't care at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's funny. That's funny. I think I could have like a few people vouch for me that, um... What about the suicidal girl? Oh, that's right. You shut her away and mainstream saved her while you only care about your friends. That, uh, that, yeah, like, I... Talking to them, like, just getting the text message just threw me all off. But anyways, yeah, I could have a few people vouch for me that I've helped them out with all their problems. And in fact... If anybody is suffering from any mental illnesses, you can hit me up in my comments, Twitter, Instagram, and if I, you, I, I don't know about Facebook because I don't really check Facebook that much. So yeah, hit me up anywhere you can reach me and things. Thank you for giving us more places to criticize you and be blocked because you don't want to face the consequences of your actions. And I'll be there for you guys. Like, I don't, I don't see, he, he says that he doesn't care. That's the thing about these guys and when they make these videos about me. You have no idea who I am. And yet you like to make videos like you know who we are from head to toe. You haven't, like, it's, the funny thing is, is like they don't bother trying to sit down. Like, the first thing that they want to talk about are my videos. Like, they don't want to, like, understand who I am as a person. No, they just want to talk about the videos that they see on YouTube. It's because what you put on a video tells what the type of person the creator is. You really don't get it, do you? They're about me or what I upload and stuff. And from there, they already know who I am. Like, they don't even click on the video. From there, they already know who I am. So... 
Yeah, it's it's funny how he says that, saying that I don't care about mental illnesses and stuff. And it's like, fam, honestly, you're suffering from one. Maybe you're the first person I need to talk to. I actually talked to Media a few times, and he is a pretty good dude. He has a good mind, good some thoughts and theories, good arguments. You, Moss Boss, you have none of that. Because you much rather shut down a little girl while he has to be the one to save her. Yes, I will keep using that argument. You can call it my trump card. Since it's like every video that, <laughs> that you're uploading is about me. Even his like, okay, so he made, uh, he did a retweet about like some chicken and eggs or something like that. But then the last thing that he tweeted was a screenshot of uh, my bio. I changed my bio and my name and stuff on YouTube. I don't know, I felt like that it was pretty old, so I just changed it just for the fun of it and things. But he made sure, and it's funny because it's like, I have him blocked, so it's like, dude, my thing is just like, I feel like that people don't understand the whole meaning of blocking a person. You don't seem to understand the meaning of act like an adult if you want to be treated like an adult. Y'all just getting out of character. Like, it's just, to me, like, that's... People acting like that over some YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. I'm sure these examples of mine show how sane you are. Like, sit down and think about this, right? Sit down and think about this. Your average person that you see walking down the street, heading to work, you know, you don't think anything of them, but then, would you be that fly on the wall? I'm a fox. Thank you. Twitter. This honestly reminds me of that kid that I dealt with a few years back. The Glenn Gregan kid. Because I remember when somebody sent me a screenshot of that guy and he had he had my Facebook page open, he had my YouTube channel um open, Twitter, he had everything. Stop flashing them then. If you want to keep things private, you should have found a better way to keep them private. Just stop flashing. Thing open. That the only thing that he left off was MySpace. It's dead. Yeah, I don't understand why the issue is so real for this guy, like Seriously, man, you need to chill out. Like, it's not that serious. Then we have two definitions of seriousness. Alright, so it's like, honestly, he ain't gonna listen. You never listen. He's still gonna be on my case. By the time when this video gets uploaded and stuff, he's gonna be all on social media and all on Twitter and all on YouTube. Like, I already know how this goes down. Yeah, because he's a hero and you're an everyday hater. Hater. I just want to bring this to your guys' attention. Like, how bad is it for T Moss Boss? This is how bad it is. I got Disney characters stalking me, bruh. I want to be stalked by Nick Wilde, Brooklyn, Broadway, Beast, and Stitch. But we all can't have that dream, can we? Like, it is. It is real out here, my dudes. It is real. But, uh, anyways, like, dang, I just. I don't know, man. I hope the best for these guys in life. Like, honestly, they suffering from something. I don't know what exactly, but... Yes, you're right. We are suffering. We are suffering from MBHP syndrome. Also known as the Moss Boss Hypocrisy Pussy Syndrome. It's a small disease that we sneeze or something every time we hear bullshit coming out of your mouth. Don't help us. They are. Nobody doesn't carry on like this. Like, your average person doesn't carry on like this and things. I'm just like, you know, I don't know him. Like, I guess it's like what I was saying. Like, he doesn't know me. I don't know him either. But I don't do stuff like this. And people that I have grew up with, they don't do stuff like this. Like, females do stuff like this. And <laughs> That's a little sexist. You're saying females are the only genders who do commentaries? I can't wait for someone to be knocking at your door. And I'm like, you a grown man. Says the grown man talking back at him. Like, I just don't understand why it's like you're a grown man acting like this. Like, that's not that's not normal, dude. Like, I don't know what goes on person, like, personally behind doors for you. But something needs to change in your life. Like, you need some help. Boss names first. 
Now, I don't know if this guy was on my channel at a time and place before and I didn't listen to him or I said something to make him upset. Oh, look, a tweet. Well, honestly, I did. But anyways, um, yeah, if if it, if that was the case, then it's like, dude, that's no cut that just that that cut like sing clothes on that one. Like you just need to just shut that down, man. But it's like, yeah, you shouldn't be a grown man carrying on like that. Like, you look like you should have kids. You look like, you look like Peter Griffin. You look like a family guy, okay? So we go from Wreck-It Ralph to a man who has a hot wife, talking dog, smart as hell baby, and goes on many adventures no matter how crazy and impossible they are. Does that make you the pussy black stereotype Cleveland Brown? I just don't understand, like, how you carry on like this on the internet. And it's like, fam, what is this doing for that? Like, my thing is, it's like, I want to do stuff on the internet to change the outside world. Like, I'm trying to do what I'm doing on the internet, make it into, like, a big business. Make That's going to be a compensation for something, and it won't even be that big either. Making it to something where I know that whatever like funds or anything that i get in return like i want to help people why'd you come back to me that that tweet needs some rest it had a hard day of work my ladies and gents i gave it some nap off and stuff overall with what i'm doing on youtube i don't think making videos about why i believe in slender man who is that helping in this world us getting a good laugh at your stupidity like, who is that seriously helping? Like, I, I think people just need to sit down and have an understanding of who I am as a person. Because I feel like, for the most part, if people kind of seen who I was and what I do for a living, and it's just, yeah, I think for the most part, people, like, I can have so many people vouch for me. I find that logic flawed right there. Considering all you say is you will help your friends. Not take any criticism unless it's from only your friends and not professionals. And not take any responsibility. Yeah, no vouch for you. Now, I'm probably one of their greatest friends in their life. All right, so it's just, it's crazy. And it was just, what, the other night, one of my friends, he's, um, you know, he's dealing with a lot in his life. I was there for him, and it was like 6 in the morning when I was there for him. So, Great. How about you help the even more or less fortunate like the suicidal thoughts, the homeless, the kids you believe who should not have a YouTube channel at a young age. Just throwing those onto the table there. It's just, it could be any people when they, what he said, like, I don't care about mental illnesses and stuff. Like, it's, I'll save that for a later video and things. But yeah, it's, you don't know me, fam. We know enough. So I, I, that's just one thing that you need to know right now. You do not know me. You never will know me. So well, not if you block us. So, anyway, you most likely will never um, never understand who I am as a person because you're so caught up in this YouTube fantasy that you're living in stuff. So, Kind of just like when you are living the dream, you look at the people around you and you see that they're looking at you living your dream. And then that's when you got to, like, just pull them up with you. Yeah, yeah. He's in the fantasy. So, anyways, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I think a lot of people's question is that <laughs> Wreck It Ralph Two is coming out. Do you plan? On <laughs> do you plan on going to go see that? Yeah, I do. It looks like it's gonna be a good movie. So, so you plan on seeing a movie from a company you bashed and used as an insult? Have fun with that one. As you see, people. Moss Boss is one that really likes to make controversy as well as just not doing what he says he will do. Us, on the other hand, we actually keep our word. We actually show how much we do care. Media's channel will be in the description below. I do recommend giving his channel a look at. He is a very amazing man. He has done a lot so far. He deserves all the love and praise. Stay fluffy, my friends.